Good day farmers, wanted to show you the small area that we're doing. Yes, very small. We've only done four lines. In the four lines you're asking why did I not go all the way? As you can see, all the piping is all the way to the end. We can have all this drip irrigation all the way to the end. But why we've only done these four small lines is that we actually started when we connected all these pipes and we went all the way to the end, we found out that by connecting them, the water was now having, we were now, there was, it was now struggling to pump all the way. We have got a 1,000 litre tank and that 1,000 litre tank at probably the height it was, there was not enough pressure for it to push the water all the way up to the, to the end of these rows. So, but at 20 meters, we knew very well that it was going to be able to, to push. And not only that, we just decided to do four rows because also we were not, we're not too happy about the state of the water that it is. But we are happy that for these four rows right now, we can actually pour water without a problem. Then we have also done what is called intercropping. As you can see, there will be tomatoes on one area and onion in the same by the same hole close to one another um, the, so we have planted onions and tomatoes together in this small little area that you can see this is just for us to consume it is not for resale we have got no intentions of reselling any of these things so it is actually working very well as you can see we have actually have got no problems with it the only thing is that when you have when it becomes loose like this pipe, you just go and you stretch it at the far end and then it goes back and everything is online. And now this actually also helps that the person does not have to be monitoring or pouring water every day. So at the end of the day, um, if you just they just need, they will just go and connect the hose pipe to the tank and everything then works on its own. As you can see here, this is connected to the to the hose pipe so this is where the connection is to the tank so if we remove there or if we connect there and we switch on the tank of water the water will then start rushing through into the plants so this is just something that we have done for now this is the only small little area that we have done so this is a 20 meter row so all in all we have only done 20 40 60 80 meters we could have done more but we decided against it due to the amount of water that we do have and the number of plants of tomatoes that we do have are about almost like about a hundred and something plants which i believe will be sufficient and then the onions that we just did are the ones that you can just see that are coming out so this is the drip irrigation system that we're using as i said this is just standard pipes 20 um 18 millimeter pipes that we purchased and then with the 18 millimeter pipes they've got the connectors that we you connect your your pipes to and these connectors are very they come in t junctions and in l junctions these are the connections that you then do and then the piping you then put we then drill your own holes at the at the meters that you want for us it's at every 30 centimeters that is where each and every hole is so this is more about this drip irrigation system for us it works well and i'm actually happy that now all the plants have now actually started showing that they are now fit and now getting ready to they're growing well thank you very much thank you for subscribing i hope this gives those people who want to try this um an opportunity to try it the only things that we do here manually is to make sure that we um, if we put chemicals you need to put those manually because you do not want to put it in the whole system because of the water that you will be also using for yourself another thing that i also wanted to say about this system is that you also really need to be careful when it comes to especially during the hot weather they become a lot of other small little insects a lot of insects are the ones which will really be a cause of concern like especially for us whereby you're not planting the whole area so where this area is is whereby the insects will be manifesting themselves and when they see a place which is nice and clean they'll be very curious to go and see what is there so this is what happens thank you very much and have a good day